Hello and welcome to the channel. The name is Guru Boy. Today I'm going to show you how to remove Google account on your Techno Infinix Vivo Mi Lenovo Oppo and all devices that run on MTK chips. So first, I will show you I do have Google account on my device right over here, which is the Infinix device. So without wasting much time, let's head over to our PC and start the procedure. So first, all you have to do is to install the drivers, which I'll be giving the links in the description. Also, the, this tool also comes with its own drivers. So let's first head over to the MTK client tool, which is in the WinRAR folder. Let's open the WinRAR folder. So after launching the WinRAR folder, here yeah, we do have folder, the folder in it. Let's open the folder. So here we do have the MTK client tool, which is the version 5.2. So wait for it to finish extracting. After the extracting, I'll get back to you. So now we do have our file being extracted, and now we are running the MTK client too. So the moment it starts running, it will open up your browser, close it, and now we are in the MTK client too version 5.2. So here we do have the drivers, the MTK drivers. You can click on it and start installing drivers. So from here I'll open the device manager to know if my device is being connected to the computer successful so you can do that if you want to so here we do have the drivers installed so let's head over to our MTK client tool in the function box we do have many options but we are going for the erase FRP in bracket or MTK After selecting erase FRP or MTK option, click on start. So in when you click on the start, it will show you the instruction in the log. So here we do have it first power off the device, hold volume up and volume down key, then connect your USB cable to the phone. And the third option which says phone must have battery inside. So here we have the waiting for device so let's head over to our device and, and plug it to the computer so we are going to follow the instruction so we hold the volume up and the volume down key and plug your phone to the computer if your device is being detected by the tool it will start flashing right over so if you do have the battery logo which means the tool was unable to detect the de the device so let's repeat the same procedure by unplugging your USB cable and repeating the same procedure so now the computer has successfully detected our device and it now flashing or bypassing FRP now we successfully bypass it let's head over to the device and reboot the device so here I'm going to show you how to reboot the device you need to hold the power power key volume up and down key at the same time to reboot the device if that did not work you have to use the volume up and the power key to exit from the download mode so let's do this keep holding to you see your device logo on the phone so i do have the infinix logo right over there so if you do get to this point, hold the power key and press the volume up key. Hold the volume power key, volume up. Now let's reboot our device. Whilst we wait for the device to boot, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also give a like to the video if you are able to make it to this point. Also give a comment to let me know what you think about the video. So now we do have our device being successfully bypassed and we do have the escape button under the Wi-Fi menu. 
so let's move back so from here you do have the skip button right over here click on skip and continue and you will not be prompt to provide your previous google account now let's proceed by setting up the device so skip let me fast forward the setup procedure so we can get to the phone We are now on the home screen, so all links for the MTK2 will be in the description. Also, I'll pin it in the comment section, so make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching the video. The name is Gorogwai. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, give a like, and also leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Peace.